Hey guys, Sim is Dim Gaming here. Let's talk Resident Evil 3 Remake. Interestingly, in the Japanese gaming magazine Famatsu Weekly, there's been an interview with the producer of the Resident Evil 3 Remake, and he said some really interesting things. And in this video, I'm going to go over them and break them down. I'm also going to leave a link to the GameSpot post about this as well. Feel free to read that, but I'm still going to break it down for you in this video. So one of the first things that was quite interesting for me was what they said about Carlos and Brad, and I'm actually going to read what they said. Carlos's look has changed for this remake, but apparently his demeanour has as well. He's now more mature. Brad Vickers has apparently changed more substantially, and will have a different role in the remake, but the producers are not ready to talk about that yet. That's definitely an interesting point because Brad and Carlos are obviously two established characters in the Resident Evil 3 game. I do think it would be a good idea to make Carlos appear more mature and change his demeanour a little bit. As much as I loved Carlos in the original game, I do feel there were quite a few lines that did make him very immature and come across very childish. What was more interesting to me, even though I like Carlos, is what they said about Brad. Obviously everyone knows that Brad gets the anime tentacles through the face <laughs> from Nemesis and they said he's gonna have a different role what's interesting about that is what his role is gonna be now there's a part in the reveal trailer where you see Jill looking like she's running towards a helicopter relatively early on in the trailer obviously Brad being a pilot I do think potentially his new role could be in that helicopter however I do think if that is true, that's where Brad's going to die and his death is going to be different. Because in the trailer you also see the helicopter on fire. There is a fan theory that this is actually the helicopter that crashes into the RPD in Resident Evil 2. However, that isn't factually accurate because Resident Evil 2 happens in the portion of Resident Evil 3 where Jill is actually unconscious. So that can't be true. So that quashes that theory. Also, from the trailer, you can actually tell that Brad's demeanour has changed quite a bit. Obviously, in the game, he comes across as a bit of a coward and that he's really, really scared. Whereas, in the trailer, Brad seems to have a sense of humour, quite a decent sense of humour, considering they're in the middle of a citywide outbreak of something they have no idea about. Personally, I would like to see Brad in the game for longer than he was in the original, because realistically, you see him run away once, you meet him in the bar and then you see him die by Nemesis and he's also a zombie in Resident Evil 2 so I personally would like to see him in it more because they could establish his character a little bit more I do think he was a little bit wasted in the original trilogy. Now the second part I want to go over from that interview is this and this is what it says despite part of the trailer being in first person the game will be played from the over the shoulder perspective that Resident Evil 2 also used. Jill's outfit has been redesigned so that it wouldn't look uncomfortable during action as this game is a lot more action packed than Resident Evil 2. What's interesting about that is on the developer special that they also released at the same time they released the reveal trailer you can actually see a little bit of gameplay where Jill pulls up a shutter and she engages a zombie. Now you actually by the looks of things still have the dodge mechanic which is quite interesting and from some of the other screenshots there seems to be a lot more zombies on screen at once like in the original game compared to the Resident Evil 2 remake so I'm actually really excited for that that dodge mechanic is probably going to come in handy as it did in the first one but again that will be for another video when we get imp more information on that and finally obviously it says about Jill's reimagined costume this is a little bit of a controversial topic between the Resident Evil fan pages and the fan groups. Personally, in my opinion, I think it's one of the best choices they could have made. Yes, Jill's Resident Evil 3 outfit is very iconic, however, it makes no sense. It made sense in the 90s because it was the 90s, but it doesn't really make sense now, and realistically it wouldn't fit with the game. However, for those people that really, really hate the new costume, if you pre-order, there are the classic skins, so you can relive your childhood. Don't get me wrong, I am going to use that skin. 
However, I'm going to play the game through a couple of times first with the new skins because what's the point if you don't indulge in the new content? But that's it for this video guys. As per usual, let me know what you think in the comments below. What do you think Brad's role is going to be? Do you agree with me or do you think they are potentially going to keep it the same but just give him maybe more dialogue or a few more scenes? As always, this is Simmons Name Gaming and I'll see you in the next one.